Hi guys, it's Adam Woods. It's on like in the middle of a bloody war zone. They're having builders in next door doing whatever. Cat won't let me have any crisp. He's up on top of the frigging fucking crisp box. It's never eat. So, what's your Friday routine? What do you do? I'll tell you what mine used to be. Um, finish work. I, to be fair, I never really worked Friday night when I run shifts. Book it off. Straight to off license on my home. Probably have a takeaway. Get smashed. Saturday, get smashed. Sunday, get smashed. Epic weekend. But point I'm getting to, guys, is I used to, I used to do really well for a week, stick to my calories, um, keep on track with everything, and then at weekend it used to just go all to pot because, like I said, I drank a lot and everything else. So if I were at a calorie deficit all the way through a week. As soon as Saturday, Sunday come, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my calories will go up. If I then added that difference all the way across the week, it actually meant I were in a calorie surplus the whole week. So being in a calorie deficit for Monday to Thursday and then overdoing it Friday, Saturday and Sunday, if I added everything up through a week, it then it, it meant me a calorie surplus. So steadily, I was just putting weight on week on week. I hope shit, yeah, it is my birthday weekend. So this weekend don't count then, does it? Or does it? Yeah, to be fair, I'll, I'll still track food. I'll be good. Um, drop us a comment if you're watching. Hashtag replay. You all right, Lewis? How you doing, ne nephew? You have a good birthday, brother. Uh, so yeah, practically it, it, it's keeping in that deficit across um, and not having these mad weekends where it can just absolutely destroy progress you've done through through week. I'm not saying don't have a drink ever. I'm not saying that. I says, but if you're doing it every week, same as I were, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I train relentless Monday to Thursday. I ate really, really well. I did everything I could. There were no way. You need to be in a deficit. You can't out-train um, what a deficit will do for you. you. You need to be in the deficit. So maybe have a change one week. Try and break that habit of going to off license on my own every week because as soon as you break it one week and you start ticking them off or making yourself a little um, chart or something that says that you've, you've done 10 days straight with no alcohol, you, you, it, your mindset switches. Your mindset switches. Uh, can't wait to catch up with a family. Yeah, no, Lewis. I can't wait either, brother. Not be long. We'll be able to see each other again. Get out and do some fishing or something. So, um, motivation, how do we get as motivation? Well, you don't, you create motivation. You don't just have, you don't feel just motivated today. And more than likely, if you're thinking you're not motivated to do something, it's probably because you just don't want to do it. So, don't do it. Change, change it to something else. I, I'm aiming this directly at exercise. So change it. If you don't want to do a certain task, do something else. Do it a different way. Do it whatever it is. If you don't want to go for a run today, uh, a walk today because it's 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 cold, it's raining and everything else. There's a gap now in, in weather. It's probably going to be warm for the next half an hour. Go and run it. You'll get your steps in a hell of a lot quicker. It's done dusted. If it's something you just but if it's something you don't like doing, if you don't like doing squats or whatever, change it. Do something else. Change it to something you like and then you'll stick to it. So, um, I was talking to a lady the other day, um, and she was she were a bit struggling, and I said, well, why are you doing it? And she went, well, I don't really know. I said, well, what is it you want to achieve? If you're going into things a bit blind, you never have this background to try and back yourself up. When you're on your own, who's pushing you to do this? Nobody. Nobody's watching. So... Like I said, you need accountability, but you also need a why. Why do you want to do it? Why? What is it you want to achieve? And why do you want to do it? Because if you keep remembering your why, all that time you can see it every day, write it down, put it on your fridge every morning, you see it, you remember. So I had a bit of a, um, I asked her a few questions and I said, well, she says, I want to lose weight. So I said, why? She says, well, I want to look better. I said, well, why do you want to look better? 
She says, well, I want to feel more confident. I says, so why do you want the confidence? She says, well, she says, at minute, I'm single and I, 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 want, I want a relationship. I said, right. I says, so why do you want a relationship? And she says, well, I don't want to grow old on, on my own, alone. I says, well, why? why? She says, well, it's scary, isn't it, being on your own? Boom. Why? Exactly. So your why in that situation would be because you don't want to grow old alone. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared of it. Write it down on your fridge. Put it on your fridge. You'll see it every morning. It'll remind you to keep keep doing what you're doing and pushing. Uh, and it it does help. You don't have to have one why. You can have more than one. You can have two or three different whys. But the fact is you're going to remember it and it's that time when you don't want to... You just think, oh, I'm just going to have a day off. You're going to remember because it's on your fridge. It's in front of you. Exactly what it is. No, but it'll mean nothing else to no, nobody else. But as long as you see it every day, you remember it, it'll keep you on straight and narrow, carrying on. So, um, if you need to engrave it on your head. If you want to join my plan, guys, it's 12 weeks. It's very, very good priced. It's, you're going to get your training plans. You get your own diet plan on foods that you want to eat. I don't pick your food. If you don't like a certain thing, don't eat it. We change it for something else. Um, obviously, you don't have to eat the same food every day either. I change my food every day. Um, you're gonna get accountability from yourself. You're gonna get time spent with myself. I'm gonna be able to answer your questions. I'm gonna, um, it, it's just, guys, if you wanna lose weight, this is where you need to be. Send me a DM and get involved. Thanks for tuning in, guys.